Hi and welcome to my channel. In this video we're going to feature a haul. So I'm going to try to do these videos basically every Sunday if I can. Um, basically everything that I've been able to find in a week's time more or less or two weeks. Um, they're going to feature Greenlight, M2, Johnny Lightning, Maestro, Hot Wheels, Matchbox, and even some other brands. So there's a fair amount of content to cover. Um, and this is basically, uh, this week was pretty big. So a lot of um, the other stuff I've put in videos already, like the Coca-Cola vehicles um, and so on. So we'll get right into this video. Um, hopefully it's not too long, but it is going to be a little bit of a longer video. But we'll, we'll jump right into it. My okay, first vehicles up is going to be from M2. Um, first one is going to be a model kit that you can purchase. So it comes with all the parts to put it together. Um, these are basically a full metal casting. This one features the Pez as the graphic work on the vehicle. And it's a 1960 Volkswagen delivery van. So it comes with a hoist and a display. So basically you can unscrew this vehicle and put it up onto the hoist um, once you assemble it. All the parts are there. It gives you a couple sets of rims and some tires, what not to pick from. But pretty neat little graphic work. I collect basically anything that has um, lights and stuff like that on it. Not too much on the packaging. A little bit here if anyone wants to pause on that. And these are licensed uh, 2018. So these are brand new release. Not too much opening on this vehicle. The only thing that is assembled is going to be the little little back uh, hatch on this vehicle. Next up, this was a pretty sweet find. Um, so this is going to be, as you can see here, the gold. So this is a chase piece. So. Just to start off, so you can see here, um, these are typically in the you know six seven thousand range. This is limited to seven hundred and fifty pieces worldwide. This is the first chase piece I've ever been able to find. This one's featuring the f genuine Ford parts, and it's the Mustang. So again, like we saw in the Coca Cola ve um, vehicles, very nicely detailed. These are an all metal um, cab, the, the plastic back. All rubber tires and it does feature this vehicle inside the back this was a pretty awesome find like I say you don't really find these too often these are most commonly scooped up but it looks like they had just stocked the shells when I got there 2018 as well um, both of these items here are brand new releases from uh, M2 so they will be either in the stores or hitting them very very soon Next few vehicles is from Greenlight. First one's going to be the Hobby Shop Series 3. Unique little packaging. Shows it as a storefront. Vehicle is a Volkswagen Type 2 crew cab with surfboards. So again, heavily detailed vehicles from Greenlight. All metal, rubber tires. Surfboards will be plastic, but Overall, very nice. You can see the tail lights, all the lights in the front, metal base, rubber tires. Now there is quite a few vehicles in this set. You can pause there if you'd like to see them. I only got the Volkswagen van. Next up is again green light, hitched homes. Series 4, 2017, pretty neat little trailer here, you can see the amount of detail and they go through on these, now these are featuring um, metal um, base, but all the rest of this is going to be plastic, rubber tires though, pretty neat little casting. Um, some of these have opening parts and awnings and stuff like that you can add on to it. This particular one doesn't. The only thing it has is the, the little piece to go in there so your trailer will stand up straight. Um, these will go on any um, trucks that have the hitches on them so you can tow them around. 
there's all the trailers in the set. They only had the two when I was there, but I would like to collect all of them. And these are licensed 2018 as well. All right, next up again, series four. This is the 2016 model trailer. But again, heavily detailed graphic work, lighting, windows, the vents, the air conditioner. You can even see a little antenna on the top for you know, TV reception. But um, overall, very nice vehicle. Again, metal base, rubber tires. Nice little, nice little castings. Alright, next in lineup is a few from Maestow. This one here is a bit of an older packaging um, player series. They feature um, a Lamborghini in this one, Roadster. Nice purple color. These are heavily detailed vehicles as well. They do interior, exterior, rubber tires, all metal. The packaging makes it a little harder. I only have was able to find one of these and I keep, like I say, I display them on the wall. So a lot easier to be in the package than loose for me. But you can see the detail. So you can kind of see it in the interior there. It's quite nice. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Lamborghinis myself, but uh, it was the right price, so we picked it up. Anything you want to pause on the back? They come with a playing card, so that card, when you open up, that card comes out and it obviously displays this number four of hearts, but it displays the car on it. And then uh, these are 2005 copyright. But I have a few of these. They are, I have a couple out. They are pretty decent castings. Next up, Maisto Design. So this is an Outlaws series, 1955 Buick Century. This is brand new to Walmart. Um, I just found these again this week. Um, I haven't been able to find them all. They only had a few, but very nicely detailed graphics. These are typically metal body plastic base. Um, the other casting you saw would be, um, they're typically metal body and probably a plastic base as well for most of their stuff. Some has a metal base, but not much. But overall, very detailed. The graphics are kind of unique. It has a little tambour work for lights and everything like that. So plastic base, rubber tires though. Quite a few vehicles in this lineup. You can pause there to see them all. So the two, they only had this one and the, uh, the Chevy. So packaging is more or less the same. 1936 Chevrolet pickup. So again, very nicely detailed vehicle all the way around, rubber tires, plastic body, and uh, or metal body, sorry, plastic base. Very nice. Um, these are relatively inexpensive. I believe they're three or four dollars. So it's pretty cheap for what you're getting with these. No opening parts though on any of these models. Probably none of them in this price range. But neat little casting. Okay, a few uh, Hot Wheels from the uh, Classic series. So these are a little bit older. Um, not too much uh, different from the, the basics. These are all metal castings though. This one's 30 of 30 and it's school busted. So a unique little souped up school bus. It's a nice yellowy gold color. It's got nice work for lights. Nice work on the decals. Basic but nice. Um, all metal plastic tires though on these. It's kind of their, their higher in line. These are pretty popular for people to collect and they made a lot of vehicles in many series. So you can see there, if you want to pause, there's tons of vehicles in these. The era is going to be 2008 for this one. And 
Hot Wheels Classics. This one's Series 1. The other one is Series 5. 24 of 25. Tea bucket. I collect pretty much all the tea buckets I can find. Very cool little casting. Again, all metal, plastic tires. Um, they use like a metallic paint on these, it's pretty nice. Again, many, many vehicles. This one um, is 2004, a little older. Next one up is Series 1 as well, 24 of 25 T bucket in a green color. Very unique. Again, all metal, plastic tires. These were in protective packaging, but the packaging themselves is not great, so they're they're gonna come out at some point, but uh, this one's probably around the same era. Yeah, 2005 for that one. All right, again, continuing with Hot Wheels. So these is this is the Hot Wheels Track Stars. And it's going to be the custom Volkswagen hauler. So this I showed in a previous video, but in a different color, in a brown. So this is new release in blue. It's got some blue flames down there. Just a cool little casting for a Volkswagen. Can never have too many Volkswagens in the collection. Um, again, these are, since they're for the track, they're metal base and all plastic body, plastic tires, obviously. So these are designed to go around the loops and everything. So you can see on the back, um, and they feature this truck here. There's, there's uh, I think six or seven different vehicles in here. These are licensed 2017. If there's anything, you want to pause on there. But pretty, pretty nice little vehicle. A um, couple five packs. So this one here is the HW Hot Trucks. So we'll just run down the vehicles here quick. Um, these are gonna stay in the package as well. That one there is like a Datsun, I believe, or something like that. You got the quick lube on the truck there. Stem blaster on the door. Chevy truck there. And then a newer style Chevy truck. Can't go wrong with souped up trucks or lowered trucks, they're probably one of my favorites as well. These are licensed 2018, so this is brand new. Next one is HW Flames. So features, um, that's gonna be the Ranchero Camaro. I'm positive on that one. Mustang, and then the tuned version, um, I believe it's a Mustang as well. But very cool graphics on these. You see the nice paintwork with the flames. Not always a huge fan of flames on cars, but they done a pretty good job with these. Ranchero is kind of neat. It's a flat black with uh, bright purple flames, purple rims. That's what the back looks like. Oh, that yellow car would be a Cougar. Mercury Cougar. 2017 license. Yeah, so that there would be a Mercury Cougar right there. We have a few um, older Hot Wheels, not vintage or anything, but um, early 2000s, some are in the, the later 2000s. Most of them are early 2000s. This one in particular is, is newer. It's going to be a HW City 2009 Ford F-150. It's a, kind of a unique little casting. Cool little graphics on it. Nice blue color. These are all just your basic lines, so metal body, plastic base. This one here is going to be the tool supply. So pit crew. Nice little van casting, has the doors that open in the back. All metal, plastic base. I didn't show the year that one. That one, the first one was 2012. This one here, if there's anything you want to read or pause on. This one's 1997. Next up, Diora 2. Uh, one of them, 
my, I guess, kind of favorite cast. I do collect quite a few of these. They're just kind of unique. It's from the HW Designs. So, nice flame work. Got the surfboards in the back. Some don't, depending on the years. Two thousand eight. HW City again. Two thousand and seven Chevy Chevy Tahoe. It's a rescue vehicle. So it's pretty nice here. Metal casting again. Plastic base. Some nice graphic work on it. Red tinted windows. All right, Tony Hawk. So combat medic. Again, it's um, going to be the very similar van to what you saw before for your opening doors. Unique graphics. That's why I got a lot of these. I like the graphic work on them. Vans trucks is always my thing. Anything there you want to pause on? This is 1998. <clears throat> All right. Tuned Chevy S10. So it's kind of the, I don't know what you'd call that exactly, the souped up, blown up little version of an S10. Neat little graphics, got some crazy bling wheels on it. Two thousand five. Next up is a Dodge Power Wagon Trail Boss. So again, metal body, plastic base, a little graphic work on it. Two thousand and three. Bling's lineup. These were kind of popular, I guess. People liked them. 2 of 10, 2005 first edition. Ford Bronco Concept. So you can see where they kind of just, looks like a squished version almost of it, but Ford logo on the back, big bling wheels, purple tinted windows, even has interior work. It's got a plastic molded base with the Hot Wheels in it. Did that on some of their models. This one's going to be 2004. Things again, 5 of 10. First edition. This one's kind of neat because it features a stereo in the back. So you can see the speakers all in the back. It's got uh, three, five speakers, two amps. Pretty neat. Exhaust pipes. Big bling wheels again. 2004. Next one up, 2004 first edition again. Tune Chevy S10. It's the money maker, I guess. Got the money symbol all over it, painted in green. Cool little casting there. 2003. Hot Trucks, Boombox. So, neat little vehicle here. Red wheels, red flames, red tint, chrome interior. Neat little casting again, it's just a basic, so metal body, plastic base. And it's 2007. Another Diora, Wild Wave. So, Born to Surf. Nice little green with some graphics. Two different colored surfboards, yellow and black. Tint, yellow tinted windows. Two thousand two. Roll Patrol. I just got this because I have a couple of them, but I just thought it was funny. It's a Dodge Caravan. I don't know why they actually made a casting of this, but it must be popular, I guess. So it's got the Police Academy, Join Now, graphic work, red tinted windows. 
just to carry around. <laughs> Penny on the ceiling on the back. Pause there, 2002. Last one in this little set we have of the Hot Wheels. 2008 first edition. Dragged her. Pretty cool. This one's actually kind of neat. Got a little tractor that's souped up for drag strip, basically. Or the drag out in the field, I guess. Plastic tires, metal base. It appears that this is all metal, actually, except for these pipes of plastic, but I think this is an all metal casting. Kind of cool little vehicle. Just something different for the collection, I guess. This is. 2007. A few more newer Hot Wheels. Not too much to go over with these. I'll just run down them quick. Um, here is going to be the new for 2018. Um, 505 Fast Foodie Buns of Steel. Um, so this is the recolor. But for kids out there, it's kind of a unique little casting. Got the fries coming out of the hood. Hamburger on the back, big exhaust pipes, and it is actually designed for the track, so metal base, plastic body. And then you want to pause on the back here. Got two of those. Just open one up and my daughter will like one of those as well. Also got uh, our daughter, got the Dino Riders. Motosaurus. It's a recolor as well, so there's a few of these brown, kind of blue stripes, whatnot, in the previous packages. So this is one of five. Also, apparently, good for the track. This is licensed 2017. Next up, HW Screen Time, the Beatles Yellow Submarine. It's been out for a while. This was released in the last last year as well. Lots of these, nothing really too special. This one was kind of cool. Again, this is in the Volkswagen lineup. So this is four or five from the tuned Volkswagen Beetle. I actually haven't seen this one yet. This was in a 20 pack. So same as all the other ones, metal body, um, plastic base. But in red with some flames. Pretty cool. Little casting. And then you want to pause on. These are 2017 release as well. And then we got some more stuff. These should be like 2015. Or actually, sorry, this will be 2017 one as well. Um, HW Sports. Chevrolet Blazer 4x4. Again, I previous videos you can't have too many of these so I snatch them up if I come across them tuned again 4 of 10 68 Mustang in blue need a little casting um I got this one just as a extra to put on the wall this is 2015 um, it's an older release All right, nine of 10 for HW Metro. Time shifter, pizza delivery. Nice red paint job on this one. Neat little casting. It's also good for the track. And this is gonna be a 2017 release as well. So a few here for the truck lineup. HW Hot Trucks, Chevrolet Silverado. So same as you would have seen in the five pack, just obviously a different color. Exact same truck, lowered, looks pretty cool. Again, all metal body, plastic base. 505, surfs up, custom Ford Bronco. I collect quite a few of these. I love the graphic work on them. I like the Ford Bronco. Supposedly they're gonna reproduce this vehicle for I believe 2019 or 2020, something like that. That'd be pretty cool to see it come back. 2015 release. The last one we have is 
8 of 10, HW Daredevils. Custom for Bronco again. Just uh, some different graphic work on it. You can see the red, more of a metallic type of paint. Yellow flames, metal body, plastic base. Cool little vehicle here. 2015 release for that one as well. A few more Hot Wheels here. Um, these are picked up just at a local antique place. They're kind of in the packaging here. I haven't seen these um, before exactly. I don't know where exactly these came from. But you see they have these black wall tires. It's a beetle bug. So this is going to be doesn't actually say, but I think it's this is an all metal casting. Very unique paint. It's almost like a metallic paint, red interior. Not exactly sure what the era of this particular one is. It's not really vintage or anything like that, but it's kind of a neat little little casting. Little off-road doom buggy. Next up is a golf truck. Can't really see these in the package, so we gotta take them out. This goes right in line with my collection of gas pumps. Pretty cool little casting though, gas hauler. So all metal cab plastic base. See the base there. But pretty unique little casting. Like I say, I don't know exactly where these little bags come from. I don't know if they're giveaways or what, but kind of cool little truck. The last one, I'm actually not going to take this one out of the package because it won't really fit on my display case, but it's a golf blimp. So, kind of unique. Um, there's quite a few of these around. The only thing that's metal on these is this little base piece here. But, um, very unique little, little vehicles here. Um, like I said, I'm not positive where they came from, so if anybody those you can leave a comment below but that wraps it up for these ones we only have one matchbox we'll show it real quick don't know if I show this in another video but this is the moving van um, again this is a dollar vehicle we'll uh, take this one out of the package and take a closer look at it but nice graphic work um, all metal uh, cab this one has a metal base, which is odd. But uh, features opening cab get it open which is pretty cool to see featured on a dollar vehicle pretty cool little casting up next we have a few coca-cola vehicles these are various brands Yatming um, there's SIKU um, one I'm not familiar with Corgi first one up it's actually going to be a Yatming. So, see on the base here, made in Hong Kong. So, these feature a metal cab, plastic bottom, plastic cab. These are stickers. Neat little vehicle, blue tinted windows. So, Pretty good condition. It's got a few little scuffs here and there, but not too too bad and the stickers are intact. This vehicle is from the Road Champs series. From what I can find, um, it suggests it's around the 70s era. Um, 
correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, but that's about what I could find on this particular vehicle. Next up is the it's going to be the Corgi, which is the hot rod custom van. This is an all metal casting, plastic tires, Coca-Cola Turbo Racing Team team support. This is in very good condition. Not too many marks, like the odd little one, but nothing too major. You can see the nice work in the casting. Um, and this one here, from what I can find, is going to be part of a three pack, I believe. I don't know if this was available on its own or not, but it would have been in with a Corvette and a Firebird. So, again, I'm not totally f totally familiar with um, these as a brand. I, I do collect them, but I don't know a ton about them necessarily, but I enjoy some of their castings. All right, next up is going to be the SIKU brand. This is one I've never actually seen before, but apparently they're quite popular. So these are made in Germany. Volkswagen Transporter. Give you all the scales and stuff on there. All metal casting, plastic tires. Featuring the Coca-Cola logo again. This one does have a small little crack in the windshield, but overall really good shape. I couldn't find too much on this particular model. It does have an opening hatch. Detailed interior. Um, no window I'm assuming is probably missing. I'm not positive. I couldn't find any pictures of this with a window. But um, overall nice little casting. Much larger than a Hot Wheel though. So the guy here is from the same brand, Volkswagen pickup truck, made in Germany, all metal, again, very good condition for the age of them. The only thing that's plastic is this and the interior. Clear windows, got a little trailer hitch on it there. But overall, pretty nice to put the logo in the white wall on the tire as well. But pretty good condition, these little castings. Last vehicle up is going to be Yetming. Chevrolet Blazer, made in Hong Kong. All metal, plastic tires. Um, a lot of theirs does feature opening parts. So this has opening doors. And I have a Chevy S10 Blazer of my own. So I couldn't pass this vehicle up when I found it. This was the, um, would have been in this metal with a few um, graphic works on it. Silver shadow, orange tinted windows. Overall, pretty good condition for the age of this vehicle. While we're on the topic of some manufacturers, this is one I'm not familiar with at all, but I did find this at a flea market. So this is going to be Volkswagen van, very nicely detailed. It's an all metal casting. Um, the only thing that's plastic is these bumpers and there's like a small piece, but the, even the underneath, it's like a, one piece mold almost, except for that little tiny plastic chrome piece you see going down the middle. Rubber tires, no opening parts on this vehicle, but it's actually a two piece casting in here. You can actually see a little bit here where they put the two pieces together. You can see where it's kind of gapped on this side. This side here shows quite well though, but you can definitely see where it's two complete pieces but um, it's a neat little casting this is the brand like I say I've never never heard of them myself so this is the Volkswagen Bully 1955 
limited edition. So this is 3,636 of 5,000. It's from 93. I was looking through this book though, there's, they make quite a few little unique vehicles. There's some stuff there if anyone wants to pause on it. Um, lots of different stuff in here. A couple of Volkswagens there. Unique little castings here. Fiat, even a little motorcycle there. Pretty neat little stuff. Pretty cool. Any Ferrari. Oops. Little race cars. Chrysler Town and Country. Different. Cadillac. Chevrolet. Buick. Cadillac. That's kind of a unique one. It's got a just married vehicle. New item, I guess. Kind of like Fleetwood, Mercedes, and what they're coming up with next. There's some information there. Again, I tried to research these guys a little bit. Um, see, they're it's a Portugal company, but other than that, I can't say I've ever really heard of them. Um, if anyone, like I said, is watching this and knows this company or knows a little bit of information to share, I mean, go ahead and put it in the comments below. I will look into it a little bit more to see if I can find out any information regarding this company. But I can say from what I see on the internet and this casting here, it's pretty nice. It's very well detailed. So. Right up next, we got two Johnny Lightnings and a Racing Champions. Let's start with the Racing Champions. Cartoon Network, Wacky Racing. So, don't really collect too much in the, the line of NASCAR or anything like that. But it displayed the um, Cartoon Network, which is pretty neat. So, you see, it has the Flintstones on there, various characters. Nicely detailed little vehicle. That's a, a metal piece that attaches on. This is all in a plastic little display case if you were to take it out. So it's a 1996 edition. First in family racing. Pretty cool. Uh, he's more likely will just be for my daughter. But um, it was pretty inexpensive. Um, there's quite a few of them in the set. They did actually have the entire set there. I only got one because it's not something I really collect, but it was kind of a, a unique little casting to see. And then we have Johnny Lightning, Street Freaks, Zingers. Um, pretty cool. Um, Johnny Lightning makes awesome stuff. All their older stuff is quite popular. They have come back, um, not here in Canada, but you can find them in the States. They're a die cast metal body and chassis, and um, some of them do feature rubber tires. Um, these ones, I believe, are just plastic. But So, this is the Hearst um, 70s Oldsmobile 442. Pretty cool. The zingers are, have the like a high raker almost sort of idea. Jacked up, but pretty cool little casting. These weren't, again, overly expensive either, so I picked them up just to add to the collection. So you can see all the ones here that are in the set. Um, zingers here, black with flames, different stuff, anything you wanna pause on or whatnot there. This one's from 2005. And then this one here is the Street Freaks as well. More power, 70s Plymouth Hemi Cuda. This one was just purchased because the paint job was kind of unique and different. So 
it's kind of got that like I say high raker type of setup there but kind of a neat little casting I don't collect too many of these but these ones are kind of cool to add to the collection and the price was right so you can see there a little blurb about it this one was a little older um, 2003 I think yeah 2003 Kind of a neat little casting there and like I say you can actually still get these um, brand new they just started releasing these in the States I, maybe a year or so not even maybe and up next we have a couple uh, vehicles from Jada very nice manufacturer of die cast um, their older stuff is awesome we have one large scale piece behind here um, this is their newer stuff their metal die cast transformer series Hollywood Rides Bumblebee 2016 Chevy Camaro. So um, you can see on here it's a uh, all metal. I don't know if these are all metal, but the, the body is definitely metal. It might have a plastic bottom, I'm not sure. I believe it features rubber tires as well. Um, you can zoom in here if you can get it. So these don't transform, they're an adult collectible, but on the base it does show the, the characters molded into it. Pretty unique little vehicle. If you like Transformers, kind of a must have. Features all the vehicles on the back there. You can see there's quite a few in the set. But um, I only picked up one. I'm pretty sure this is the exact same as what um, the um, Toys R Us had about a year ago or so. Um, I haven't compared them yet. I'm going to. I, I think the packaging is different, but the casting looks the exact same. So. If you've already collected these about a year ago, you may want to verify that these aren't um, the exact same vehicles that you're purchasing again. So I'll do that and then if it's different or any variations, we'll buy the set. But for now, I just purchased this one just so I could see if there was actually any differences in the casting or anything like that before I, I buy the entire set. Next up, again from Jada. Big Time Muscle 2008 Viper SRT. So these are real nice all metal um, casting. These do feature a plastic base though, um, rubber tires. Um, but overall, heavily detailed vehicles, um, like some I've showed in other videos. Um, you can't really go wrong with buying anything that's uh, older Jada stuff. And they're 164 scale, 124 scale, 118. It's uh, absolutely amazing quality. Um, I'd like to collect them all if I could. I'll show you the back of the box here. We're gonna leave this one in the box just because I have too many of them to display. But these are like uh, mid 2000s typically. Um, can't see it offhand, but typically um, 2005 era, somewhere in there probably would be my guess. But uh, overall, these are pretty awesome castings. Features opening doors, opening hood. Um, this one might open in the back. I'm not sure if this hatch opens, but they typically have hoods, hatches, doors, everything opens and they're all heavily detailed. So um, again, you really can't go wrong with these, especially when the price is right. They do hold their value, but uh, this was the right price. So we, we picked it up. The box is a little beat up, but the car's mint so we just have one more uh, item to go over here and then we're gonna wrap this video up so we have a couple uh, more Hot Wheels uh, forgot about these are just basic releases but they're kind of unique ones and this is a Volkswagen custom Volkswagen Beetle neat little vehicle here a little off-road vehicle or something like that nice um, graphic work paint nice purple and we have this one here which is oops, a little different 07 Cadillac Escalade taxi so I haven't seen this before but it's not old or anything like that it's just a main release Hot Wheels so metal body plastic base but it's kind of unique 
and these were really cheap. So we got the news van, 68, 68 action news. So features the orange see-through windows, orange rims, metal body plastic base. Cool little casting. And we have the ambulance medic response unit. So show the base here. It's gonna be um, should be a Dodge van, I believe. But kind of a unique little ambulance casting, blue tinted windows, cool little graphics on it. Only had one of these, but neat little castings to have. Last item up is the Disney Pixar Cars 3. This is a coloring set, basically. Uh, features two vehicles. Um, you can see there it says design with markers and stickers. So you can take these out, obviously, and you can color them with the markers that are provided. So you get the, uh, the two chromies, four markers, and one sticker sheet. So this is just a fun little thing you can do in this, you know, die cast collecting hobby. You can do this with your kids or if you want to collect these and paint them yourself, you can go ahead. Um, I picked up two of these. I'm going to actually keep one, but uh, my daughter is going to um, paint the other one. So she's looking forward to doing that. We'll probably uh, do a little video on that together. But um, these were being cleared out at Toys R Us for a couple of bucks, so... A neat little project to be able to do with your kids and it's really inexpensive to do so that's always good but neat little um, neat little set there to to get if you can find them at your Toys R Us so actually this is going to be the last item so I've been using it as the background but we're actually uh, going to build this set uh, we're gonna test it on video and see how well it works we have some other track pieces to set up. This is the rocket launch challenge. So we will be cracking this open and we'll uh, be setting up on the table and we'll uh, we'll see how this set works. It would um, seem like a unique little set. You got to basically set it all up and try to get your car to launch the rocket out. So like I say, we'll, we'll do another video on that. Um, my daughter's looking forward to... Uh, setting this up and playing around with it. So we'll do a little review on that and we'll see how well the uh, this particular track works. That's gonna wrap it up for this video. Um, there's lots more videos coming, a lot more content to cover. I tried to go over everything as fast as possible with giving hopefully enough detail on each item. Um, basically, we're going to uh, set up uh, this track in front of us. Um, a few other things, we'll do a video on these cars just to see how well they are to color and whatnot. Um, we'll keep the videos going. We still have a ton of content to cover. Um, again, if you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye.